Hi guys, again, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Ray Ocampo. So today I will uh, discuss okay, the topic, why? So medyo naisip natin ito. Okay, so the reasons behind some of the accounting requirements in PFRSS. Okay, so in this video, I will discuss Okay, some of the reasons, okay, for the requirements on goodwill. So, in this video, I'll discuss the following. Internally generated goodwill is not recognized as an asset. Why? Goodwill is not amortized. Again, why? Reversal of impairment loss on goodwill is not allowed. Why? Okay, so there is a saying that if the why is clear, the how is easy. So yan ang lagi nating ine-emphasize sa ating mga students. So kapag clear kasi yung concept, madali lang yung how. Okay, so you don't need to memorize. So kung meron kang clear okay, understanding of the concepts. So in this video, I'll try to explain, ha? Okay, uh, briefly, okay, the reasons, okay, for those requirements. So number one, internally generated goodwill is not recognized as an asset. Why? The reason, internally generated goodwill is not identifiable. So only acquired goodwill can be recognized. So we need to go back to the three critical attributes of an intangible asset. And what are those? Identifiability, okay, control, and the existence of future economic benefits. So since goodwill is not separable, not arising from contract, or other legal rights, okay? So internally generated goodwill is not recognized, okay? So again, since goodwill is not identifiable, okay? So that's why. Next, goodwill is not amortized. Why? The reason because the cost of goodwill cannot be allocated on a systematic basis. So we need to go back to the definition of amortization. And that is the systematic allocation of the depreciable amount of an intangible asset over its useful life. So how can you allocate systematically the cost of goodwill if you don't know the useful life of the goodwill? So that will explain why goodwill and other indefinite life intangible assets are not, are not amortized. So kasi nga, pag inamortize yan, it will not be systematic. So it will be what? Arbitrary. Okay? So that's why. Okay, the last one, reversal of impairment loss on goodwill is not allowed. Why? The reason, because the reversal of impairment loss is in effect recognition of an internally generated goodwill. Kasi kung yung entity, meron siyang goodwill na impair. Ano yung goodwill na yon? Acquired. Impaired na yung acquired goodwill. Then later on, nagkaroon uli ng goodwill. Ah, hindi na yon acquired. Considered na yon as what? Internally generated. Kaya kung papayagan yung reversal na yan, so that is in effect allowing recognition of internally generated goodwill. So that's why it's not allowed. Okay. So, yan lang. Okay, so sample lang ito. Okay, so I hope pakagawa pa tayo ng mas marami pang uh, topics. So, siguro, 
Kung meron kang gusto na ipa-explain, yan. So, we'll try to explain in this channel. Okay? So, ito yung ating project. Okay? So, why? So, the reasons behind some of the accounting requirements in PFRSS. So, if you learn something in this video, okay, don't hesitate to subscribe in this channel and you will receive, okay? So, in the future, okay, so videos just like this one. Okay? So, thank you. Bye-bye.